What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to day 35 of On Shape. Specifically today, we are going to make a jack-o'-lantern pumpkin carving. There's going to be a little bit of difference between what I got here, but I've done some, uh, some interesting things. I'm going to do them rather quickly because this video is going to go a little long. So the first thing I'm going to do is create a new part studio. Alrighty. What I'm going to be doing next is creating one slice of my pumpkin. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on sketch. We're going to go this right plane and we're going to create our pumpkin. Now for the sake of simplicity, what I'm going to do here is create a very simple pumpkin. You can change the profiles a little bit to make yours a little more complex or kind of uh, if you're uh, wanting to do something a little bit more organic, taking your time with it. But what I found overall is that I can get pretty close to a pumpkin by doing three separate arcs and eyeballing kind of what they're going to be. And so what I found is these three arcs, and we're going to use three different arcs because they're not all the same kind of variety. They change just a little bit. And there we go. We're going to do a little bit of an offset for these because as I do this, I'm also going to be carving out my pumpkin at the same time. All right, and the thickness of that offset, let's make it to be, oh, I think I did 59.5, there we go. Let's try that again. So 0 0.5, there we go. And this line is gonna go all the way through. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and just call this sketch done. And we're not going to extrude this. Instead, we're going to revolve this piece just a little bit before we do anything else. So we're not going to do a full one. We're going to do a, a symmetric extrusion, or sorry, symmetric revolution. And we're going to do this as 36 degrees. The reason being is that we have a section of pumpkin and we're going to fill it before we actually revolve again. So I'm going to fill these edges and kind of give a little bit more of a lifelike pumpkin feel. Like I said, you're absolutely welcome to, I'm actually gonna do a little one last, make my pumpkin look a little bit more organic, is we've made this one section so far, we revolved it a little bit, we filled it, and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a circular pattern. So what we're gonna do here is we're now going to take this piece and then repeat that geometry about that center axis. Remember we did 36 degrees earlier, and so actually I only need 10 instances of this now, and I now have my full pumpkin. We're gonna do this as an add, because we still want this to be one part. So we click the green check mark, and we're looking good. Right click, we're gonna uh, rename this, and we're gonna call it pumpkin body. All right. Now let's go ahead and look at some of the pieces inside. First thing I'm gonna do actually, and I forgot to do this earlier, is I'm actually going to create a small little platform for my candle to sit on. So I'm gonna click check mark on that. It's gonna think for a little bit. We're gonna make sure that the revolve now includes this platform. And so that way when I look on the inside, so if you right click, and look at section view, we can see that there's a little platform now for my candle to sit on. So we're gonna click on sketch and we're gonna start our candle from this platform. Since our pumpkin is no longer needed for the candle, we're actually gonna hide it and then we're just gonna start building our candle. Okay, I don't need to see sketch one anymore. So let's go ahead and now extrude this up just a little bit hit the check mark, and we can still see that section view. So I'm gonna turn that section view off and continue to build my candle. Every once in a while, you're actually gonna to wanna to make sure that you're, when you're building your candle, you're not building it in a way where it's gonna go outside the top of your pumpkin. So uh, let's go ahead and continue on. We're gonna start a sketch on the top of this candle right here. And only thing I'm gonna do now is do two circles 
for where that hot wax is going to be. So we hit extrude. We're going to do remove and just a little bit. <clears throat> there we go. And now we're going to actually can just continue to extrude from the center circle. So I'm going to extrude the center circle up and it's going to actually be a new. We're going to see why on a little bit is because I'm going to make a flame out of this part. So we're going to draft this outwards. Uh, let's do 30 degrees. Uh, click the green check mark. We're going to mirror this body on this axis right here. Click the check mark and we're looking good. So part two is going to be our candle. And then part three is going to be our flame. Okay. So let's go ahead and fill it, this edge right here, and it rounds off that flame. It looks really nice. I'm going to extrude one last time on this top part of the flame. And it's going to be really small because we're going to give it a draft of 45 degrees inwards. Okay, now what we can do is we can start to edit our candle to look a little bit more like we want it to be. So this candle, most of it's going to be, so we're going to edit that appearance to be white because it's a white candle. What I'm going to do now is uh, click on the face of the, the wick, right click, and we're going to edit that appearance or add appearance to face and it allows me to color just the wick. All right. And so now I'm going to click on the flame. And so right click. We're going to edit the appearance of the flame. We're going to find a nice color for our flame. And what you can do is you can kind of change the different colors in here. So we can add the appearance to this face and make it different colors and make our flame look a little bit more realistic. But I'll leave that for you to figure out. Let's go ahead and add in some color for a pumpkin. And so what we've got so far now is we have our candle, we've got the flame, we've got the pumpkin body. Now let's do some of our carving. So we're starting a new sketch here. And this is where you get to have a little bit more of your creativity on what you want to do. What I'm going to do is uh, just a simple jack-o'-lantern. So let's do a circle here circle that way I can get a little bit of that crazy eye look and let's just do a polygon so that looks about right and let's just make a circle here okay I'm gonna go ahead and get the pumpkin body out of the way and I'm gonna look at the profiles here I'm going to go ahead and just delete any things I don't need. I ran into a little bit of an issue with it being a little stubborn. So we're going to see if we don't have those issues again. For the mouth, I'm just going to do a simple mouth. And let's add some buck teeth in there. Trim up any profiles we don't need. And we're looking good. All right. Let's bring our pumpkin back in. Let's now extrude our pumpkin face. What we're going to do is we're going to pull it on through. And we're going to make it a remove. You can get really creative with this if you want. You can add a bunch of detail. You can kind of do how you want. But I'm going to call this done for me. And now I've got my pumpkin. He looks a little bit unhappy. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is my stem and we're going to call it done. So I'm going to right click, hit view normal 2 and we're going to open up that section view again. So what we're going to do is we're going to add in some lines. We'll create a sketch here. We're going to add in some lines that will go through the pumpkin because we don't want this the stem to be separate from our pumpkin body. Okay and then on top of that we're going to add in some arcs as well. So I'm going to add in an arc, and this will allow me to have a little bit of, I would call this, um, organic shape to it. And we're going to see how, in a little bit, how I was able to connect all those together. 
Okay, let's add, I'm actually gonna add in another line. No, we'll just call that done. I don't make this too detailed for you because I wanna let you get creative with it. And I'm gonna turn that section view off. Let's now revolve. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna revolve this sketch around the center axis and let's do a new. And so this new part right here, we're gonna rename and we're just gonna call it stem. Okay, now there's another thing I'm gonna do with that little curve right here and to make some organic kind of like feel to what we have. And so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna click on extrude this part right here. And what I found myself doing was uh, I was able to create some geometry that allowed some rigidness and I guess an organic feel to it. And you can get kind of creative with what you wanna do with this profile. I'm gonna click this as an add to part four. And so the merge scope is not gonna be the pumpkin body, but the stem. And so what we're gonna do is, I have to go back and actually fix it, edit this sketch just a little bit for that arc to be fit in there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on arc. We're gonna make sure our arc goes through the body just a little bit better. We saw I ran into a little bit of a problem. There we go. Merge scope is still gonna be the stem. It really doesn't like that bottom sketch down there. That's all right. What we're gonna do is just the stem and a small distance. Is there a gap? I guess I'm having a hard time figuring out what's going on here. Let's try this one more time. Let's add this. Merge scope stem. Parts do not intersect completely. You know what? That's all right. We're gonna do a revolve instead. So we're gonna revolve around this center axis again except I'm not gonna revolve all the way around. Instead, I'm just gonna do just a hair bit similar to what we did with the pumpkin. So let's do symmetric. Let's also include some of this other curved geometry down here. And let's do it as a three degree. Okay, we hit check mark. Okay, now this part right here Actually, let's revolve. Let's do add. Merge scope to the stem. There we go. We have this little flare to our stem here. Sorry, it took me a little while to get back to it. So we get circular pattern again. What we're going to do is we're just going to now take this stem and we're going to repeat kind of what this organic-ish kind of feel was. And we're going to repeat it a lot. We're going to do like... 75 instances and it's going to be an ad and so what we get is this really neat kind of organic shape here uh, you're welcome to kind of cut that end off if you want and make your pumpkin look a little bit differently but this stem right here we're going to edit this appearance to give kind of a greenish look to it And I really don't like kind of how flat that top is. So I'm gonna just add a new sketch real quick and I'm just gonna cut this top piece off. So let's extrude this, remove, symmetric. And that looks a little bit better. And let's do a draft outwards with it. That looks a whole lot better. 
All right, ladies and gentlemen, there you go. We've made a pumpkin. Um, there is one last thing I'm gonna do before we get going, is that this pumpkin looks too perfect. It's as it can kind of, all the colors are exactly the same. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna click on some random parts of my pumpkin, and we're gonna add in some organic feel to it. So I'm just gonna click on the random parts, don't click on too much. And we're gonna right click and we're gonna edit add appearance to faces and we're just going to use a slightly different orange and we can do the same thing with kind of our pieces up here we can i'm just going to select in some random pieces oh i've done too many let's try those let's add appearance to these two faces and let's just do a slightly different green color and it just adds some more of that organic feel. You can go a little bit crazier with this and keep on going in and do some other random pieces and add in some more imperfections. And so I'll go, let's go a little bit darker on those. And our pumpkin starts to make a little bit more shape. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, hopefully this was helpful and I was able to create a pumpkin from scratch, start to beginning or start to end um, but uh, I really want you to have some creative flair when you do this. Let me know how this works. I did go through it rather quickly and hopefully I explained everything well enough. These videos have been fun to make and I hopefully they've been helpful for you too. If you like, please like this video. If you're not subscribing, please subscribe. It is more help than you can think. It is crazy to think. In the span of just since the beginning of the school year, I am now at 400 subscribers. If I can make it to a thousand, we're looking good. Okay, guys, take care. And until then, I'm going to put my candle back in my jack-o'-lantern, and I'll see you guys later. Have a good spooky season.